Hello? Test? You guys alive? <laughs> so it seems that, um, some minor inconveniences have occurred, uh, forcing me to go back to what we were doing before, due to the fact that, uh, yeah, something went wrong. So, um, we're back, uh, we're, unfortunately, apparently, um, Lethal Company can't run on what I was running it before, so, here we are, we're, um, we're right back where we were, oh my goodness, that hurts me, that, that is not on center, oh, that hurts, oh well, um, so, please be patient as we currently set up KSP, uh, it's probably going to take a little bit, of, probably like about two, five minutes. So just be patient. All right, chat. It worked. It opened. Everything's fine. Nothing exploded. We are going to start new. We're going to start it on... Uh... Honestly, normal. We'll start with normal. And this time we'll start with like, I don't know, 100,000. We'll go to advanced modes. Turn on G-Force. Part pressure, level up immediately, plasma blackout, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, that is a lot of things that I don't know how to read. Yeah, and uh, that's... That should be... Oh, wait, hold on. Turn off missing crew respawn, turn off allow quick loading, and turn off allow reverting flight. Okay. Um, DSP. 
take that as how you will. Let me pull up chat again for like the fourth time because everything's apparently failing on me here. You're good. I'm good. Control shift L. Never mind. Control shift B. I gotta go play with something so I can get you guys in here. Now control shift L. There. Now you guys are here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We don't need that. Microphone test. Microphone test. Turn this up so you guys can hear shit. And now I need to open chat. Uno momento por favor. Alright. Let's try this one more time. We're good. We're live. Everyone's happy. No one's angry. I hope. Uh, launch vessel and gather science. No, we build. We build the most simplest thing ever by clicking that and then clicking this and attaching. And then clicking this and attaching it. As so with one um, actually two things science hooray and now we launch hooray that that should be what all we need for the first launch right so we can go ahead and right click on this and observe it at the stage. Nice. And then three, two, one, blast off. She gonna jiggle jiggle. So we can go ahead and look at it as it jiggles. And nice. Activate the next stage. And cruise on out. Shoot deployed. Alright, and we should begin our slowdown and slow descent. Hopefully we don't lose Jebediah Kerman this time. I would really not like to lose Kerman again on like the very first launch again, but we should be fine. Slow descent and touchdown. Very nice. Dragon Station. Bigger up. Cool. You can go over there. Recover. Recover. Done. 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 Alright. Stage two. We need to go to R and D. And go ahead and get these two out of the way. Cool beans. Uh, we have 15 science. So we are going to research survivability. Just because why not? We, we can, so why not? Uh, I'm going to put this down here. Yeah. Alright. Something bigger, something better, something more extravagant. Not really, because we just kind of do this. Alright, so the good thing is we managed to research survivability at a low stage. So we're able to actually not even really need a backup stage in case something fails. Which is really good. Which means we can kind of just focus on getting out of here. 
two, three, four, five. And then we go to structure. We'll go ahead and go with three of these. Three swivel engines. Still okay. Three fins. And uh, we also need to put on uh, like Actually, you know what? Yeah, three. We'll put on three. Three temperature gauges. Yeah, actually, we need to put it in like a little bit of a different spot. Three temperature gauges and three pressure gauges. Coupling, coupling, coupling. Boom, boom, shit, shit. All right, two pre temperature gauges, two pressure gauges. One of these, actually we don't really need that. But I do need, I need two of these. All right, chat. Looks like we're not going with the bottom decoupler. Cool. And these go off. That pops off. That goes off. That pops off. Cool. Launch. This time, this this uh, over oh, like the entire course of the stream, we are actually hopefully gonna get to the moon and maybe further I hope SAS on full throttle three two one go because every time it's like we get so close all right no I wanted to do the lock temperature We lost a little bit of speed there, but that's all right. We'll make up with it in a little bit here. This solid fuel booster will burn for just a little bit, a little bit longer than what we really need, honestly. Go ahead and turn a little bit to the side here. Not fully to the side. Easy. I said not fully. Because we, we, we're not necessarily going fully to the side here. More of a like that degree. Because we're going to be increasing the distance as well as are gonna tops us. Now now we can start rotating to straight sideways. Seven thousand three two one burn. Very nice. We have reached outer space. All right, cool. We now need to prepare for re-entry, which is pretty much just us repositioning and then speeding up. Go. Activate the shoots. Jebediah, you are the bravest that we have. Please don't die. 
Just like whatever you do, please don't die. We really need you. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, drag shoots. 3, 2, main shoot. 1. Alrighty. That was a major success. And deploy. Drag shoots deployed. Main parachute should be opening here in a little bit. There's the main parachute. We are good. Nice. It's a ground landing. Switch it over. And three, two, one. Touchdown. Funk. What exploded? Okay. Apparently something exploded. I don't know what. It's probably not that important. If it exploded, we didn't really need it. Good. We managed to get Gerben across the pond. Very. Is this... I was going to say, that looks like Spain and then Africa. But maybe not. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, that, that definitely looks like Africa, Spain, and then like the Philippines. But of course, Kerbin is not Earth. It's a little bit different. Alright. We got some science. We can go into R&D. Uh, not necessarily stability. Ability, but we'll go and get general rocketry uh, ooh, ooh. No, that's a bad idea We need to keep doing more experiments All right general rocketry uh, This honestly like we can scrap all of that we don't need any of that anymore. We're gonna go ahead and take this guy. One, two, three. We're gonna put a swivel. Attach coupling. And then, didn't mean to click that. One, two, oops, two, three, four, maybe even five, structure, And engines, rivet engines. We're still good. Three basic fins. And now. Oh, what? I had two? I had two of each? Okay. Now we can add. Two science things. No, not three. We just need two. And actually, I don't need the entirety thing, so we'll go ahead and put a coupling. Right there. Alright, these goes off. Decouples. That goes off. Decouples. Parachutes. We'll go and do parachutes with the decoupling stage. Uh, everything looks good. Launch. I don't see any issues with it, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back to Streamlabs, make sure nothing is happening. Everything looks good. Everything looks fine. Alright. 
that Oh, something does not look right there. Okay. SAS is on. Full throttle. Three, two, one. Lift off. Alright, alright. Alright. Uh huh. Looking good. Fifty thousand. Out of fuel. Three, two, one. Start. No, not that way. The other way. Turning. Oop, too fast. Well, I guess we're going to be at, like, kind of this angle for now. All right, cut fuel. We are in Kerbin, lower Kerbin atmosphere, so we're going to observe this mystery goo. And we're going to test the pressure and temperature. Log temperature. All right, cool. We're now going to point ourselves towards the ocean. Uh, other way, we're gonna go down towards 90. We're then gonna press M and look at the anatopsis. Looking good, looking good, looking good. We're now at 70,000, so we can go ahead and open up this other mystery goo. Nice. And we can go ahead and log the temperature and pressure up here. Very good. Continue to look until we approach the anatopsis. Maybe speed up by five. And burn in three, two, one, burn. I said burn. We're going to go ahead and create just a little bit of a easier atmospheric slowdown here. Cool. We're going to go ahead and decouple and activate the parachutes. Turn this sucker ar around. And speed up. I have full faith in my uh, my things here that we're not going to explode. Whoa! Easy, easy, easy. Hot, hot. Slow down enough. Awesome. Drag chute deployed. Main chute deployed. Come on. And drag chutes open in three, two, one. Nice. Drag chutes have opened. We're now going to wait for that main chute to open. And we're going to make a nice water landing for the Navy to pick us up. Main chute open. Seven hundred. Six hundred. Five hundred. Four hundred. 300, 200, 100, and touchdown. Spoosh. Nice. 
Gonna go to the tracking station, recover that once again. And we're gonna bring it on back. Recover. Look at that beautiful, beautiful science. And some good funds. Very good. Very, very good. 61 science. Not bad. We can now go ahead and research stability. Um, and that's apparently it for now. We need just a little bit more science. Like 1.1 1 .1 more science. Upgrading that would be a horrible, horrible decision. So now we're going to focus on trying to get high. We no longer require any scientific experiments, although we will keep the pressure gauge on. And so now we have just a little bit more room for some more, more fuel. I'm going to go take that off. Change the color of this. We're going to add two extra fuel to the top stage. Oh shit. We're apparently going to go ahead and go upgrade the, the launch pad. See, launch pad, launch pad we can upgrade. That's fine. That's only 50,000. That's, that's fine. We can do that. All right, we're at 27,000. We can go ahead and add one more, one more fuel tank to the bottom stage. And then we can increase this by one. Actually, we're going to put this on the sides. Right about... There. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Because we have these ones. Ah, shit. I meant three, not four. looks very good we're gonna appropriately name this bob bob one yes bob one very good very perfectly named oh if i can grab you chat I want to look at something real quick. Chat, I can't see you for just a second. I'm going to go look at something. Alright, alright. So there are some people playing on the KSP. Many of which are, you know, they don't got too high of view counts. Highest I think is 14. I'm going to put Jeff back. Put you guys back where you were. All right. SAS engaged. Full throttle in three, two, one, go. Where the hell did I put my left and right? I am going to switch this to putting that there in two different stages just for convenience. Alright, burn out, separate, and burn on. Jeez. 
check the uh, anatopsis part here. Start going to the right. Cut. Go fully to the right. Very good. Oh. All right. Now we just kind of got to wait. Because we got to get up to that anatopsis. This is definitely going to be a low Gerben orbit. Burning in three, two, one. Showtime. Come on, 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 come on. Not an orbit, but it will be launching us into deep space, which is kind of what I wanted. Because now if I speed up, we can get into deep space. Goodbye, Kerbin. I wanted to get into deep space so I could be able to, um, we can go ahead. Go ahead and ditch the, uh, that there. That put bat that kind of on, like, a nice little orbit back down to Earth. Alright, and we're about to reach the Antopsis of about uh, roughly 400 to 500 meters above Earth. Which is very nice. Which, yes, is classified as deep space. What do you mean display off? We're going to stop this warp here. Log pressure data. And now we're going to do... Oh, I was going to do an EVA. Okay. I guess not. We're going to speed up as we come back into an approach for Kerbin. Re-entering the atmosphere, slowing down the warp. All right, I need to uh, rotate in the proper positioning here. We have engaged our parachute stage. We are going really, really fast. Like really fast. Atmosphere should stop us and slow us down a bit. Oh shit, we lost something. Well, we probably lost the only thing that we had on board. That's okay, because we still have the data with us, hopefully. I hope. I really do hope. Alright. Another successful trip to outer space. Very nice. Very good. You guys are still alive. Okay. So, T is SAS. R is RCS. Which I don't actually know what RCS does. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this McJib thing.
Aircraft autopilot. <gasps> Whoa. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool, honestly. Water landing, we're already set. Go ahead and turn on the light, because why not? Jib. Look. You're on, a, you're on approach for another great landing. Backflip. <laughs> Backflip. All right, dragon station. Please, I hope the data is on board and we didn't need the thing. Where is he? Jeb? No, oh, he's right there. Go and recover the vessel. Forty-five science. Fuck yeah. That's exactly what we needed. All right. We're not going to be dumb, and we're not going to research advanced rocketry, or general construction, or aviation, or flight controls. We're going for science. Why? Because it gets us this. Science Junior 1, and, uh, yeah. Kind of just Science Junior 1 is what we need. This gets us the ability to. Let's see. I guess we can go ahead and pick up the orbit curve in one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, what does this do? What does this mean for us? Science Junior is a very valuable asset to have on board. Like we no longer need these pressure gauge this pressure gauge right here. That can just go away. And we can now install a science junior. Which should be in science. This guy, science junior. Which pretty much just does experiments for us. Keeping the four, but we're changing this to two. That is <laughs> that is a very disgusting looking thing right there, but that's okay. All right, Science Junior is going to help us a lot. It's going to allow us to get a shit ton of science which is just good so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know conduct material studies uh, 7.5 we can do better SAS full throttle three two one launch we can do a lot better than seven All right, and rocket burnout in three, two, one, burnout. Detach and go. Uh oh, not good, not good. Need to flip this upside down. Okay, so not a very good start, but that's okay. We just need to get up into orbit, really. Uh, 
Oh, we're not really up into orbit. We just need to get really high up. Like, really high up. The higher up, the more science we can achieve here. And that's, that's kind of the goal. That is, that's not even, whew. All right, cool. That is, that is really high up. It's about 300 meter, 300,000 meters. Gonna go ahead and open the doors and conduct this material survey, getting us a 37.5, which is exactly what we wanted. All right, we're gonna go ahead and close these doors and speed up all right the reason why we have not decoupled this rocket stage quite yet is because i want to hold on to it to allow it to burn up in the atmosphere oh shit You were, you were a good one, Chub. You will be missed. Okay. Um. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned. Valentine, you're up. This time, we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna do that again. This time, we're gonna go up, establish a kind of orbit, and then you know, do that. We're not trying to go for an orbit or a height, we're just trying to get relatively close. Launch. Sever that stage. And sever that stage. Alright. Very nice, looking good, looking good. Keep it going. We're gonna use about half our fuel to get to the highest point we can. And shut off. Now that we got the highest point that we can, we're gonna speed on up. Not quite in the space yet. Now we are open doors, conduct survey, keep science, close doors. All right. We're now going to turn to the right, aiming ourselves towards the ocean because we're like really fucking high. And three, two, one, go. We're going to try to hopefully establish an orbit here. I doubt it will work. And I don't really want to establish an orbit orbit because that's... We don't... We, if we do, we won't have enough fuel to get back down. Okay, that's... that's not bad. Because actually, I, I didn't want to, you know, plummet into the earth. So, so this is good.
We're gonna reposition ourselves like so. And we're gonna let gravity do the rest. Just need to slow down. Not slowing down. All right, that is that's unfortunate. But as long as our little Kerbal can survive, it'll have been worth it. All right, cool. We had to uh, engage an emergency. It's fine, honestly. Speeds were slowing down. Altitude is going down. All right, cool. Oh, thank God! I thought I thought the main chute was broken. I was about to be scared. And fast forward. Mm, drive chute should pull or should actually open in three, two, one. Open. Main chute should open in three, two, one. Main chute open. 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 There it is. I wonder, can we, um... Oh, we can. We can totally cut the parachutes. Is it a bad idea? Yes. It, it won't really change that much of our speed. Spoosh. Good job, Valentine. You almost exploded like, uh, he did. But Bob wanna splash down somewhere in the ocean. We're gonna go and recover him. And unfortunately we did not receive any uh any science from that launch because we didn't make it back down. Okay. <sighs> we need to just do some basic fundamental testing. Nothing too complicated, nothing bad, just some testing. As much as I would love to get back up into deep space and do that experiment again to get that sweet succulent 36 science, it just doesn't seem possible. So we're going to go up and fly, open, conduct this. Sorry, I meant open and conduct. 17 science, we can do better. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> Shit. Not good, but it's okay. Cut fuel. Fast forward. We're going for a low curb and burn. Very nice. Open doors. Conduct survey. 22 science. 
probably the best that we're going to do. No orbit, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and detach ourselves. Close the door. And now I just need to kind of fast forward here. Heat shield should protect us from our re-entry, which should be good. We shouldn't be entering the atmosphere at a very fast speed, but we might, we just might be. Looks like we're coming back down. Yep, there it is. Heat shield's working. Heat shield's gonna get really, really hot. But it should be fine. It should be good. Alright, cool. Drag shoots deployed. Awesome. Main shoot should be deploying in 3, 2, 1. Deploy. Or did it already deploy? It already deployed. My bad. So now we're on approach to uh, just do another splashdown on the in the ocean. Awesome. So we're gonna review this. We got a 22 science, not bad. Uh, we do kind of need more. happened with the inner structure yeah we're gonna keep that yep and I call that successful Ugh, I call that very successful splash down Tracking station, recover, rinse and repeat. Bob one, splash down, recover Bob one, awesome. We're just gonna go ahead and rinse, pretty much rinse and repeat so we can get some more science. Because unfortunately 23 science ain't gonna cut it very much. Yeah, no, we need 45. Rugged version. Huh. What is that? Oh, very cool. Yeah, we need we need about forty five in order to do that. So twenty three plus seventeen plus seven. Should be somewhere around that ballpark. I forgot that I have a heat shield on the bottom of my. Okay. So, change plan. We're going to go as high and as fast as we can. Simple. SES 321. Oh, full throttle. There we go. Because I forgot that we have a heat shield on the bottom of our, uh, our air. our thing here. So to be honest, we really don't need to, um, what is that? No. We really don't need a an orbit to slow us down too much. Although it is nice, it's not necessarily needed. What is nice is going into deep space and getting that sweet succulent. <sighs> that good stuff.
Oh shit. Why didn't mean to do that? Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I kind of messed up. And we actually might. Oh shit! Valentine, be ready. Okay, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> I was kind of worried that we were gonna lose Valentine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and recover that. Just because that's like kind of the best we can do. Because we uh we accidentally <laughs> launched. Uh, we pressed the space bar by accident, which kind of released a thing. Are we gonna land on top of the vehicle building? That would be funny if we did. But yeah, we accidentally clicked the wrong button, and it um. Yeah, we pay the price. It initiated your couplings which sent us off flying and then you know one thing led to another now we do have more mass on board so that's why we're kind of falling at a faster rate here although if I go back to one time speed we're really not going that fast oh! no I needed that fuck Damn it. Oh, no, wait. Shit. Uh, I needed that. I really fucking needed that. How much money do we have? Okay, cool. We're losing money. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do something a little different here. Come on, oh fuck, it won't go on. Okay, we'll just go ahead and put them on manually, because it's apparently not wanting to work. That's 29 out of 30 parts. Hmm. Uh oh. I don't know what's happening, chat. Uh oh. 
Please don't crash. Please don't crash. God, whatever you do, please don't crash. It crashed. Uh, it crashed. That's annoying. That's, yeah, that's annoying. It crashed. Um, it crashed, and I doubt that it's saved, which means we might have to restart, and I really don't want to restart. That's going to be so annoying. Ugh, we didn't open wrong. Damn it. short stream today might stream a little more later this is annoying I'm sorry for it being such a hassle this morning thanks for sticking by have a good day